But what we learned in one of our earlier episodes was that as a woman enters the menopause transition, two things happen. For the first time in her life, she starts to lose lean muscle mass. The other thing that happens is that she's starting to gain body fat at an accelerated rate, much more so than she was ever gaining in her younger years. And the third reason is because women, particularly middle-aged women, do not get enough protein. Research has reported that on average, women will only eat about 70 grams of protein per day. And that is not enough. In fact, that's about half of the upper range that I recommend. In the next episode, I'm going to give you compelling research of how optimal protein intake will improve body composition in premenopausal, perimenopausal, and postmenopausal women. And let me give you one more fun fact about protein. Did you know that protein is unique or has a unique role compared to the other macronutrients? We have carbohydrates, protein, and fat. Now, carbohydrates and fat are the energy nutrients. Let me explain what I mean. When we eat carbs, they're the best nutrient to fuel your high intensity workouts. So if you're lifting weights or sprinting, running fast, doing explosive training, carbs fuel that type of activity. Fat is the best type of fuel for fueling our low intensity workouts. Walking, low intensity running, that's what fat is used for. Now protein, really isn't providing our body with energy. Our body does not like to use protein to fuel workouts. Instead, protein is an adaptive nutrient. And this is fascinating. You do your workouts to create a stimulus on your body that you want to adapt to. And protein allows you to adapt to that stimulus. So we wanna look at food in this sense. Carbs and fats fuel our workouts which provide a stimulus for change. Protein is the nutrient that allows our body to adapt to the training stimulus.